name is Caitlin Richardson, and I'm a freshman for Abraham Lincoln High School. One star seven years ago! I understand that you chose Dad, but you didn't choose me. I get you have your opinions. I get you are protective. I get why you'd have your concerns. As my brother, those are things you can do. Here's what you can't do. Don't tell me to stop talking to the person who's been there for me more in three months than you have in four years, who's been my flashlight because you closed the windows of happiness and left me in darkness. Don't insult the person I choose to love when you left me almost four years ago, only coming around when it's convenient and leaving me to have to place my trust in someone else. He's done something you seem to have forgotten how to do for four years. He's made me a priority. Not saying you have to put me first, but I want to be somewhere on the list. I mean, I'm your sister. He's done what needed to be done to make me happy. Exercise my demons, whether it be with a simple text or whispering words that lift me. Or staying on the phone till 1 a.m., convincing the negative thoughts haunting my brain that they are nothing more than chained ghosts. So you can tell me I'm emotional, and I'll agree. Tell me I'm dramatic, I'll agree with that too. I'll even agree if you tell me I have a lot to learn and you know more about life. But you of all people should know those things about me without needing to put them to words. You should know that bringing your hatred for someone so important to me into the light is going to tear me down. And trust me, I know you have your pain. So this poem isn't asking for an apology or saying you're some beast that deserves to be captured and locked up. This is more of a warning. A warning that I'm not going to let your words bother me anymore. A warning that I'm not going to apologize for putting my feelings into words. A warning because that's a mistake I repeated too many times. The siren isn't screaming for a choice, it's not you or him. I know I can survive without him because he may not be there forever. People come and go and can be a blessing but also a lesson. Whether I've learned the lesson life's led me to, he's making life easier right now. So this isn't just another collection of words and metaphors used to describe pain caused by just another clueless boy who was handed just another innocent girl's fragile glass heart, pretending he would protect it and take care of it, but instead toss it to the ground to shatter. That's not my story. My story is about a family member, someone I've grown up with, created memories with, lived by the divorce decree our parents created with, someone I've learned from. Though you may have shattered my heart, I am not innocent and you are far from clueless. You're the one who distanced yourself, you knew what you were doing with your words, and I'm not going to let my heart stay broken on the floor. With the help of this person, I'm picking up the pieces, fusing them back together, and hopefully not leaving you behind.